Welcome to our podcast. It's been named one of the very best in marketing research. Research Business Daily Report is the industry's only daily research video blog. Please go to RBDR's exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com slash RBDR, where you can lend your support to our series. I'm Bob Letterer for more than 25 years, a respected voice in market research. Welcome to Market Research in the COVID-19 Era, episode number 81. A blog authored by Stephen King, CEO and co-founder of Black Swan Data, didn't spend any time doting on COVID-19's really negative impacts on research. Now, I don't necessarily agree with some of King's assertions, including one, that before COVID-19, the adoption of technology-driven research techniques was limited and that progress was relatively slow. Clearly, technology dominated research and its progress with workable innovations since the late 1990s with the onset of the Internet. However, the coronavirus has upended 20 years of research standards that began after the Internet's introduction. As the virus spread worldwide this year, the Market Research Society actually publicly advised researchers against face-to-face -face market research because of concerns about the risks that it created both for researchers and for participants. King referenced Michelle Gansley, the Mars Wrigley Senior Director of Foresight Innovation and Growth Insights. She confirmed buy-in of that type of counsel and reported that a pause had been implemented on everything, quote, that was not in context or in moment research, end of quote. There is inarguable evidence that supports King's comment that primary research surveys and focus groups have become almost impossible since the virus hit, and that the upheaval caused by the virus has put research execution to, needed to be conducted in a more continuous and agile way. King in the blog addressed new product development, first focusing on the situation before COVID-19. Global companies, he reported, have been releasing new products that were far behind the general market curve, and he said it was because of long, expensive offline qualitative research processing. King went on to quote Harvard Business School professor Clayton Christensen, who pointed out that new product innovation has always been tricky in order to get it right. But predictive tools and techniques have lifted research, reducing the time and cost of necessary things with traditional research. And in addition, it has lessened bias and limitations. That has curtailed subjectivity, along with lessened gut feel during new product decision making. Analytics adoption has led to success for companies, particularly in this to 2020 situation. For example, King pinpointed Campbell Sue, VP of Global Research and Development, Craig Schlafchef's personal praise for artificial intelligence in the CPG business innovations efforts, boosting practice success rates, quote, by directing Campbell to the right designs for the right consumers at the right time, end quote. King introduced the thinking of Twitter head of emerging businesses, Giannis Dosios, who's enthused about the new reality that social data can generate valuable insight. King observed, quote, researchers can now analyze the conversations of millions. He called it the largest group of people available to be researched. And they can be asked about a wide range of consumer product categories. What's the downside of what we're dealing with today as the coronavirus continues to dominate and research is looking for solutions? A McKinsey report into digital technology adoption shows that only 13% of retail companies are using artificial intelligence as part of their product development. King said companies continue to ask how and where to pivot, how to respond, and how to survive. But Twitter's Yanis Dosius reveals, quote, every brand is at its own stage of its digital maturity. So apparently it's going to take some time for the industry as a whole to really get control of this situation. 
hey, we'd like your point of view about how research has been impacted by the coronavirus because we'd like to show it on this RBDR series. Aside from the helpful insight that we'd love to gain from you and share, the video that we will jointly create with you becomes a free promotion tool for you and your business. So please email your ideas and feelings to rflbob at gmail.com. That wraps up today's Tuesday edition of Research Business Daily Report. If you've made it a habit to watch us, either semi-regularly, all the time, or maybe just even once in a while, we do want to say thanks. And if you find each time that you watch RBDR that it is time well spent, which we assume is to be the case, please recommend our video to friends and peers. And we hope that you'll consider becoming an RBDR Patreon supporter, which you can do at patreon.com slash RBDR. So have a great research day and we'll see you back here with us tomorrow.